No, the video just started. Stop recording video. Button. Okay, and we are back. Zero faces. Shut up. Sorry, I was yelling at the iPod. Um, so I am again working on the um series I talked about earlier with the blind school. And I'm actually with one of the students now who still goes here. So maybe he can shed some light because I don't go here anymore. Long story. We'll share that later. All right. State your name. Yeah, my name is Deshaun Allen. I go to West Virginia Schools for Deaf and Blind. And I'm in 11th grade. I'm 17 years old. Ladies, if you know that, if you want to know. Um... This is an educational video. <laughs> um, well, the school itself, the blind school, is really not that bad. It's just that, you know, you go, you stay for a week, you go home on Fridays. It's pretty not that, it's really not that hard. But you have to look at some things. You have to be careful with some things, most likely on campus, like... It's like a college campus, but it's more t more towards like regular school, and yeah, you just have to make sure you l follow the rules, listen to what they say. If not, then <laughs> Eddie knows it can turn you downhill. It can change your mind, uh, your aspects about the school. So just make sure you you know be careful and all. All right, and who do you think is like who do you think would be the major problem uh, causer at this school? The major problem at the school that I think right now is a girl named Jamie Crosshair because, you know, she's like a drama queen. She likes attention. She draws attention. She tries to draw attention to herself and to others, but it doesn't work because she, do, she does things and she says things just to get more attention towards other people, but people don't pay attention to her as much as she what they want them to. She want them to, so... And if you could change something about the school, what would you change? I would change some of the rules here because some of the rules here, I do agree that they're stupid or lame or, you know, just not into my best interest. Like what? Such as in the room times for the advanced students. Like, say, like, if you're in 11th grade, you should stay up until, like, 12. But no, we have to stay up until 1030, which is, 1030 is the time that we have to go in our rooms. And then lights out, let, lights out at 11. Keep, keep talking, I was just... And so, um, and then another thing that would change is like, the times of study hall. Because we have to have an hour of more education, as what they say. But I don't like that. I can't stay, like, I already have... Eight and a half hours of education. I don't need another hour of education with that will lead on to nine and a half. Yes, I can do math. Leave me alone. <laughs> so, you know, that's a couple of things I, have, I would like to change. But in my ideas, I don't think that they would change them. And what about the staff? What's your opinion of them? Most of them, like, teacher-wise, most of them you can get along with. But at the same time, you have to do... In their certain way of what they ask you to do. If not, then you'll get frustrated at them. And they will get frustrated with you. You have to, you know, learn how to cooperate with them in their own aspects. Because if you don't, then, you know, it's going to turn into a whole big mash. And people will get confused, complicated. Things will get compl complicated for you. What about the administration? I noticed you only said teachers. Well, the uh, oh yeah, the, um, administration. We just got a new um, superintendent. We just got a new superintendent. His name is Doctor Keller. Well, I don't know nothing about him as much, but <clears throat> as what I learned since I've seen him, he's been okay. I mean, you know, we, I have to have a, I'm going to have have to have a meeting with him about certain things so we can try to change something and because. Our, okay, for the deaf school, they have a lot of things that represent the deaf school, but we don't have anything. The only thing that we have is the brick wall that's outside of our, that we finally just now finished this year, when we've been waiting for that for like last year or so, because the Student Council for the Blind, which it was me, Eddie Cox here, Cameron Bell, and Ashley Bailey, 
we we came up with that and Jamie Crosser and we came. Jamie wasn't on it. It was Sabrina. Or no. It was no, it was Sarah. Sarah, Sarah Allen. Sarah. Remember? Well, and Jamie Crosser from last year too, and this year. I wasn't on it. No. Well, well. Anyways, we came up with the idea of making our Raider flag, which has our Raider logo, and our our school mascot. It's called the Raiders. So we wanted to put our logo on a flag and also of our hoodies and sweatshirts and stuff and sweatpants and t-shirts that we're going to be selling later on in the season. And we wanted to put on our flag to make our f- school stand out a little a little better than... Keep going. We wanted to make the school pop out a little bit more to make them make other people understand our culture. Because a lot of people has been learning about the deaf culture instead of the blind culture. So we wanted to make ourselves feel more... Mm-hmm. No, no, yeah, so we can pop out there and let everybody know, hey, this is the blonde school. Your kids should come here. But like I said before, you got to learn how to play by the rules. And do you feel like things are improving here? Do you feel like this place has a future? My thing is that I think on one behalf, the school has a future, future but um, on the other hand, I think that it's going to go down about two more years, two or three or four years that it's going to probably go start going by downhill. Do you feel like the state's going to come in and completely shut the school down or just remove everyone in power and replace them? I'm not for sure on that. I, I just think, the, you know, the less, because each year it seems like we're losing students. More and more students are leaving from the school for because of... The rules and how pe- it's been running here, like people that runs the school, I think they didn't like the last super uh, superintendent that we had. She did not have any like aspects to towards the school, like how she wants to make it better. She just wanted to think she, her way. Yeah, she wanted to make it her way and think that you know she is going to make it better as in her way. She didn't take anybody's opinion but hers, which her name is was um, Boyer, Doctor Boyer, Doctor Lynn Boyer. All right. Um. Any final comments or thoughts or anything or um, anything you want to shout out to YouTube? Uh, there's another thing that uh, like all right. So we have we have uh sports here at our school, and um. It's been taken off really well, but at the same time, it still runs with the students. We need more guys here at our school, whoever's blind, visually impaired, or legally blind. You know, whoever wants to come out to the school and just support or help us or involve with the school and can get more students or ladies. It doesn't matter who you are. We... You know, if you're blind or visually impaired, we want more students here so we can keep the school alive and change things here to make it a whole lot better than what it is. All right, and one more question. Um, what do you feel like would bring more students in or stop students from leaving? Changing the rules. Because the rules here are very strict and complicated for the ones that stay on campus and for the ones that go to the school. It takes a lot of encouragement to keep the school alive. It takes a lot of changing to keep the school alive. And I think that if we bring more students in here and to school, then we can get like a whole group of people to sign a petition and mm-hmm. make sure that the, some of the rules that are here will get changed to make the school okay. a whole lot better. And once they do that, then, you know, the school's going to stay alive. If not, then it's, in a few years from now, it's going to go downhill. All right. Is that all? I want to give a big shout-out to my family and friends. And, you know, just keep alive, man. I mean, stay alive. Don't do drugs, kids. It's bad. <laughs> all right. Thanks for the time. All right. All right. Well... There you got it, people. Um, Subscribe for more videos, and I will hear you guys whenever I do. Stop it.